Hi, I am Alexander Svet, the host of AlexanderRaw.com, and today we are going to discuss the first major update of CAPTCHA on 20. Previously, developers unveiled some details of this release, now we have a full update features list. The new before-after tool, reworked heal and clone tools, CAPTCHA on for Nikon and new Nikon color profiles. Enhanced Lightroom Importer. Plus, Capture on 20 now has a new logo and has added some other minor improvements. Let's see how all these new features work in practice. The new Capture on 20 update brings the real before after tool and it works just like it should. You can now quickly compare your edit to the original image just by clicking a shortcut Y. The new tool has two modes and you can toggle them using Y plus Shift shortcut. The first mode, Full View, fits perfectly the need to switch between edited and original images quickly. Note that the original image here always includes composition adjustments so as to make it easier to compare before and after shots. If you add some new adjustments, Capture One auto switches you to the edited variant. In the second mode, you see before after images on the same screen, divided by a movable slider. The original image is located on the left and the adjusted variant on the right side. Split view works excellently when you need to compare some particular parts of your edit. You can continue editing in the split view mode, additional adjustments would still appear on the after variant. Both modes work well with multiple selected images. Also, it's really convenient to compare styles and presets now. By the way, you can get some of these Capture One styles for free just by subscribing to my newsletter. Ok, long awaited before after tool looks great, now what about updated retouch features? Capture One developers did excellent work on enhancing heal and clone tools for this upgrade. Heal tool now finds source points automatically and the tool works way more intelligently than before. What is even more important, now you can have unlimited heals on one layer. That's a real game changer for retouch workflow. Previously, users have been limited to 16 layers and 100 spot removals. Now you can do all the editing in Capture One, including complex retouching. In the new Capture One, you have all the control over the retouch areas. If you need to set a source point manually, you can do this just as before. Hold down the ALT key to set a source point before masking or select an existing arrow to change its position. Also, when an arrow is selected, the new masking will relate to this source point. To delete selected area, simply press backspace. By the way, you can easily hide arrows just by moving the cursor away from the viewer or by unchecking display arrow mark in the heel brush settings. Clone and Heal layers now have their own brushes with all the regular settings. For instance, the Flow setting allows you to increase retouching impact with each cursor movement. It works perfectly for portraits when you need to retouch skin carefully. Plus, you can change the Heal or Clone layer opacity to tone down retouch on an image. A nice surprise is awaiting Nikon photographers in the new update. Capture One now offers a special version of software for Nikon camera owners. 
Nikon Express is a completely free version of Capture One with a basic set of image editing tools. Nikon Pro offers all the professional features of Capture One and comes with a special lower price tag. Capture One developers have replicated Nikon Picture Control color profiles in Capture One. Thus, you can now get the same color for your RAW files as you have shooting JPEG. The difference between color profiles is quite noticeable and for some images I will surely prefer the new Nikon profiles. At the moment, the new profiles are available for these camera models. Also, in the update you will find some improvements to Lightroom Catalog's import. Firstly, the import process is more transparent now. You can see what will happen after the import. Secondly, you can now import smart previews or offline images in terms of Capture One. Once the original files become available, Capture One syncs them automatically. If you have found my Capture One 20 review useful, there is a simple way to support my work and it will cost you nothing. Just use this code at Capture One checkout. Alex on RAW. If you are new to Capture One, download my free guide to Capture One. It will give you everything you need to start working in Capture One without a mass of overwhelming information. To get the guide, subscribe to my newsletter. Plus, you will receive a set of freestyles for Capture One. Additionally, this update offers new onboarding workflow, minor workspace changes, and some other improvements. You will find a full list of updates on my blog, alexonra.com. 